Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on uh, September 11th, 2013, uh, about oh, 3.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time. You're looking at my, my internet cable box here, and uh, you can see the, the orange cable running in here, and then it, you know, it goes over to go down the hidey hole here. Uh, I have this sort of little flange there where you know you can see the cable there under the under the deck. Put this back here. Keep my keep my storm lid over it. Yeah, that's, that's that's another use for a Weber grill lid, by the way. That's my phone junction box, which, by the way, that white cord that you see running there, that used to be the abortive AT&T U-verse internet service when I first started out here doing this a year ago. So, but they eventually did put in a really spiffy little junction box for me. All of that is prefatory, or was prefatory, to, to another episode and another episode of Joe's Internet Service Adventures. Oh, go away. Go away, you bee. Well, it turns out that, uh, oh, go away, just stop it. <laughs> it turns out that uh, uh, yesterday, about 1.15 in the afternoon, I was happily interneting around. And it obviously just stopped interneting. And then you'll look at the modem, and of course it's it's down to, it, this time it was down to two blinking lights, sometimes it's down to one. Uh, so, you know, you do the usual things, you reset the router, you unplug the router, you reset the router, you do the modem, you know, I mean, you do it in sequence, you shut the computer down, then you shut the router down, then you shut the computer down. And uh, so I thought, well, that's... It's happened, you know. It was out. It was out 20 minutes one morning here, about uh, midday, about 20 minutes, oh, about two weeks ago. And I didn't, I didn't call them then. Uh, but uh, this continued on for two and a half hours, so I called them, and uh, they said a guy had come out here this morning, which he did. Uh, a little backstory on this. Uh, I may have mentioned in some past videos about the condensation problem at the box where they had left the plug out of the connection box and water was getting in and then it would condense, you know, it would condense in the cold and then it would go out again in the heat and so the connection would stop in the cold and be okay during the warm parts of the day. Well, that guy fixed that. He just put the plug in and that that was fine. And he also then put in this box that you saw. Um, well, he put a, he put a, a resistor in the box. Um, so he did a little work. And then uh, six weeks ago, uh, the thing, thing had been out eight hours overnight. Uh, and I know it was out eight hours overnight because a lot of times I'll wake up at 1.15, 1.20 in the morning and, uh, you know, internet around and it was out. So, came back on eight hours, almost exactly eight hours later. Now, of course, it could have been out longer than eight hours. So, I called him and 
they couldn't get anybody out for another four days. And I thought, ugh, I'm going to be out four days. Uh, but uh, they, uh, uh, you know, the thing came back on, you know, uh, about two hours after I'd called. And uh, uh, so then it was, it was fine. And, you know, the guy came out and he checked the thing with his magic box you know he took the cable off the back of the modem and checked with his magic box and said well it's, you know it, it 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 tests it tests normally it tests you know up to spec so um, uh, I, he said I don't really want to see the need to horse around with anything and I said fine so all was well till what I told you about yesterday happening so this guy this guy came out today and I'm going to tell you, you know, I mean, I've been impressed with all these cable guys. Uh, now, I don't know a thing about how this stuff works. I wish I did, but I don't. But I've been impressed. I mean, you know, they're not, they're clearly not stoops. You know, I mean, they clearly didn't look like, they don't act like they just got out of prison. I mean, these are intelligent individuals, you know, that present themselves well. And... Um, when they do something, they seem to be very hardworking and attentive and so forth. This this guy was very focused. You know, I I like to watch these guys because I I'm very interested in all this stuff. Uh, you know, and I sometimes they explain what they're doing. Sometimes you have to ask them questions. I tend not to ask them questions unless I'm kind of puzzled by what they're doing. And uh, you know, when I did ask. Question this guy, he answered it straight off and explained. And um, so this time, when, when he hooked up his magic box to my cable in the house, uh, he says, Oh, there's, he says, it's, there's something wrong. He says, it's not, it's not bad wrong, but it's not way off, but it's off. So he went out to the box and looked at the box, and then he went down to the pole and uh, uh, without going into the back and forth thing here, which took took a couple three times him going back and forth, uh, he ended up essentially reattaching the cable both at the pole and reattaching the cable here at the box and reworking the ground and uh, putting in an extra little something or other and. He said the connection up to the box actually had gone bad. I mean, that was the primary problem. Uh, the one little individual thing that was fun about him is, you know, when he when he did the final check here at the box, you know, he went yes, yes, you know, and so, uh, and then he then he volunteered something. He says, you know, yes, you know, the connection at the at the pole was clearly bad, and that's been fixed. And then he went in and checked, you know. For the final check in at the modem and uh, that was fixed so um, yeah we're, we're, tw we're 20 22 down and and two up and that's what i'm paying for so good uh, we'll see how long this lasts um, but uh, i really have had no cause to gripe you know, I think I'm getting my 45 bucks a month worth here. So that's that's that. Uh, we had a had a line of fairly well, moderately moderately intense, but not windy thunderstorms move through here just around noon. And uh, no no wind, no damage. Well, a lot of thunder. Uh, we needed we need a little bit of rain. Uh, it cooled us off a hair. Now we're back up to 77. I mean, it, it dropped us down from uh, 78 to just about just about uh, 69. But uh, I guess we're going to get something more here later today, maybe. But that's fine. The surveyors are back, but I think they're primarily on the other side of the road today, although there are trucks up in the front yard. But that's okay, they got to park somewhere. You know? 
as Kingsley Amos said in The Russian Girl, the fucking newspaper's got to be somewhere, doesn't it? So, I think, I think that's about it. Paul's not home yet, obviously. Well, not obviously. Sometimes he does get home early, but not all that often. Um, they tend to run the schedule pretty intelligently down there, it seems. Well, get off me. Uh, see, now the rain has brought the bugs out. I'm being beset. Well, that's it. You know, of course, did the Wall Street Journal online and waited for the cable guy and I've, I should have been reading a lot of other stuff today, but I'll tell you, I've just, I've become very, very lax in that. Perhaps, perhaps I'll get that back here at some point. Um, I tend to go in cycles on this, you know, I'll have weeks where I read a lot, and then I'll have weeks where I don't read much at all. It has to percolate, it has to percolate, you have to assimilate this stuff that you read. Then you go back to it, and you have different insights and appreciation. Alrighty, on that note, I'm going to say bye-bye, YouTubers.